What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfiller back with the box clinic with another video. And, um, you know, Billy Joe Saunders today, you know, got on, you know, social media posted a, uh, a video of poking fun at Chris Ebanks Jr. and his performance against Arthur Abraham and basically telling them that, you know, <laughs> I still whoop that ass. <laughs> he said, I don't, he said, I don't understand how guys, I'm paraphrasing here, you know, freeze up off a double or a triple jab and just, mm, that's like a bunch of pussies. And obviously, he has the blueprint and the abilities to beat Chris Ebanks Jr. or Eubanks Jr., whatever they want to call him, because he's done it. He's done it. He's one of those boxers that I said had the ability to beat him easily. And um, he did it already, and he's one of those those boxers that when Chris Ebanks Jr. gets over over anxious or over je or overzealous with his attack, Billy Joe Saunders is one of those guys who a good boxer who, who can see the game when it slows down and pick his shots very nicely and get those openings that Chris Ebanks Jr. leaves when he's so, so aggressive. Billy Joe Saunders is one of those select few. He also threw shots at the Mongoose Willie Monroe, who he's fighting uh, September 16th, early in the day in the U.S. before the Canelo Triple G uh, car kicks off. So he's out here talking shit. He ain't fought in almost two years, so... You know, he gained all that weight, and he looked horrible the last time out when he did fight. Looked all fat and sloppy, like he just came down with no muscle definition, no stamina. And hopefully he's in shape. Now he's train, training with the uh, Kell Brooks trainer, Dominic Engel, and who I think is a hell of a trainer. And hopefully he picks up Kell Brooks' a nutritional and physical fitness team because they want to, they are the best in the business when they come to, you know, helping him, uh, Kell Brooks make weight and be strong and be lean and, and all those things. So he picks up that whole team. You know, he could be dangerous. I always thought that he had the ability to beat Triple G, but I just didn't think he was offensive enough, and maybe Dominic Engel can uh, make him more offensive. He tru he truly beat Chris Ebanks Jr., and probably would do it again, you know, because he knows what to expect. But Chris e Ebanks Jr. did improve, but I don't know on what level. We have found out in the world, boxing super serious as well. But, um, you know, both guys are very talented and are top fighters in the, in the U.K., and I think Billy Joe Saunders is one of the best boxers in the UK when he's on his game, when he's mentally right. You know, he's the best defensive boxer over there, in my opinion, that I've seen. He's got to pick his shots, you know, and punch a little bit. You know, I don't think he gets his credit for pulling and ducking out fight, fights and stuff, whatever his reason uh, of pulling out and ducking fights. I don't know what his reasons were for injuries or he just didn't want to compete. Um, he wanted a Triple G fight in Kazakhstan. A Triple G opted to fight for Canelo. And, and Triple G, if he uh, beats Canelo and wants to become undisputed before he retires and don't have to do that rematch clause with Canelo, it's going to have a hard time um, getting this dude in the ring now after ducking the first time. It better be on uh, Saunders' terms. And Saunders going to have a lot of leverage. He don't give a shit about uh, fighting uh, Gennady Golovkin, especially if he loses to Canelo or if he beats Canelo. He's going to have all the leverage. I know it sounds stupid, but... Golov he's going to have something Golovkin wants, and that's the WBO uh, belt. So he's going to have to bow down to Billy Joe Saunders' terms. And as far as the Chris Ebanks Jr. thing, um, I, I don't I don't know if Billy Joe Saunders will go up eight pounds to fight Chris Ebanks Jr. It has to be some catchweight shit. But I believe Chris Ebanks Jr., you know, if he wins that World Boxing Super Series tournament, you know, I think he just count that as an L, eat that, and keep it moving. And, you know, he, he would have had to conquer uh, probably Colin Smith and George Groves to do it. So I think that's enough clout for him to, you know, leave his head hell high and, you know, eventually wait and see if Billy Joe Saunders come up that 8 pounds to 168. But with, but as far as, you know, the Triple G and Chris e. Banks Jr. Uh, talk, OT, overtime talk, um, you know, if, if, it's, if Golovkin unifies or, undis, you know, becomes an undisputed lineal champion or whatever, you know, beats Canelo or loses Canelo and decides to move up and Chris e. Banks Jr., you know, wins that tournament, I think that fight is way bigger and way more fire than it was, you know, just a year ago. You know, I think Chris Ebanks Jr. would have improved. I think Canelo, I mean, I think Golovkin being 35 years old would have been declined, you know, uh, no matter what he looked like versus Canelo, it'd probably be a whole calendar year later and some change. If he fought Chris Ebanks Jr., he won that tournament. So, you know, it's some good stuff on the horizon, you know. And if Canelo wins, would Chris Ebanks Jr. try to squeeze down or catch away Canelo? You know, in a big crossover fight, he's a big name over here, Canelo, over in the UK. Canelo's a big name in North America. Um, could they fuse together and make a big fight at the 164 and a half pounds that he fought Chavez Jr. at? It's a lot of, you know, it's it's a lot of it's it's a lot of stake for Chris Ebanks Jr. It's a lot of money at stake for him. You know, at the 160 to 168 uh, uh, 
you know, Ram, you know, at the weight classes. He can make a lot of money. Just when, If he wins that tournament, his stock is going to go up. His stock is already up despite losing to Billy Joe Saunders and, you know, you know, and other bullshit in his career just because he's a uh, – He's one hell of he because he's because he he's a, he's a he's a legacy, and he's also has the ability to be you know a fantastic fighter and has all the fast twitch muscles and skills. Just got to continue to hone on him. So this your boy CJ Goodfellow with the boxing.